Bonjour à tous. Pour moi, la, la métamorphose, c'est le 21e siècle. Metamorphosis is the 21st century, and that's great. It's very positive. But it's started late. It's not the first time. After last century, it's after the first world war, and now it's just after COVID. In 2000, I was 20. I was convinced that we would be, be living through an exceptional century. We would be traveling differently and working and thinking differently. Just like you, I was rather disappointed. I, and yet, I found myself on this journey. And the big shock was when I became a dad in 2011. I also realized that I was becoming a player in this 21st century. I was becoming the father of the child who will be living in this century. And this child will be contributing to this society in this century. And so I wanted to do something important. I was working at L'Oréal at that time. I received a lot from L'Oréal and learned a lot there. But this discovery that I could be a player in this 21st century wanted me, made me want to become create my own model. It wasn't simple, it wasn't automatic, and it took time. But with the birth of my third child, I decided to create La Bouche Rouge. It's a, a cosmetics brand, Lips, lipstick. It's the second export sector for, for France after aer the aeronautical sector. There are six major companies. There. But I wanted to create something positive. So I created La Bouche Rouge, the first cosmetics brand, which is, try, is trying to eradicate plastic from, from the brand in production, formulation, and the packaging, and in the distribution as well. It's an ambitious task. Currently, cosmetics is the third most polluting industry in terms of plastics. Well, why? Because we use it every day. In, in our everyday lives, we create the greatest volume of, of, of waste. So we wanted to create a, a, a cosmetics brand without waste. I wanted it to be desirable as well, because I think this metamorphosis must be desirable in itself. We want to people to think it's cool or positive, and they want, we want people to desire to change. We don't want it to constitute a sacrifice. And that's why I founded a new approach. We wanted reusable objects, rechargeable objects. So you can use a lipstick and then keep re recharging it. So why put myself in, into this industry? There's a monopoly. There are six major players in it. What, you can't invent anything there. And I said simply, well, there's no choice. I have to get involved in this. 21st century is now. It's already started. We need to experience change. I like to tell this particular story. I've come from, I come from the mountains, and I was discussing that with Nicola earlier. He's a dad in the United States. His daughter's um, walking a few steps in front of him. It's an exceptional region, beautiful, beautiful sights. And his sister, his daughter, is walking a few steps ahead and is discovering these wonderful, wonderful, these wonderful sights. And he hears the, this vo little voice saying, "It's magnificent." The question is, well, what are you? Asked of the mountain. What is he? Who are you? Answer, answer. So she receives the answer. No, respond, respond, answer. So there's a little girl, eight years old, looking around her. There's this mountain responding to her. What's happening, Dad? Who is there? Her, her dad says, listen. I'm dreaming. You're, you're wonderful. And then she hears back, you're, you're wonderful. Little girl looks at her dad and she said, some people will tell you it's the echo, but I call that life. Because life reflects back at you what you give of it. So you, you get back. So the, the century will give back to us what we decide to contribute to it. It's what we decide to contribute. All players there in our everyday lives, in our, in our family lives, 
in our companies. We're all we're all actors. We're all players at our own level. I started with lipstick, an emblematic product. Thanks to this lipstick, I I started a brand of of, of makeup, and then I'm, I will be starting perfumes. I'm absolutely convinced now that lipstick, a bouche. Bouche Rouge will be one of the leaders in years on, on a global scale. I'm ambitious. It's because of the values of innate to this company and the values that are developed. We've created our own laboratory in Orléans, with, thanks to the BPI. That was created seven years ago. And that's attracting talents, the best talents. And now we're a team. There's a vision, there's a whole team behind me. When we're creating a makeup brand, we, what we had in the last five years, or we've had COVID, then a crisis in the United Kingdom, I'm sorry, United States, there's Hong Kong, Hong Kong the yellow vests. These, these accelerate us towards the future. If we face the future, we need to accept what's going to come. We need to accept the limits. When the yellow vest turned up, that, that wasn't great for me. But we need to accept and understand why and draw lessons from, from this to, to support our company. I know that I will succeed because I've had a talented team, not necessarily internally, but also our investors. There's a, a, a virtuous project here. It's a positive project. And then, of course, you know they will attract the best. As, as a dad, I know I'll be an actor in this 21st century. The generations with us will only commit if, if there are values behind the project. Thank you.